Hi folks, today we're going to be reviewing the German-made Weha screwdriver with Bit Magazine Lift Up Electric. It's quite a mouthful to say, but don't let that throw you off as it's a pretty decent bit of gear. Let's take a look. So first of all, this screwdriver is suited to techs who are travelling about and want to reduce the amount of tools being carried or programmers and techs who are not on the tools all the time but keep a screwdriver handy for a bit of fault finding or commissioning. If you're an electrician you could still use it as your everyday screwdriver but if you're constantly changing what screwdriver tip you need you'll soon get sick of it. Inside the handle it's got six screwdriver slim bits and they include a Phillips 1, a Phillips 2 and in the flat there is a 2.5, 3, 4 and 5.5 millimeters. I'm really happy that they made the smallest flat tip go down to 2.5 mil as it's suitable for most small terminals and spring clamp type terminals. All the tips are robust as per the normal Weha screwdrivers. Setting up a tip is quick and easy by squeezing the end of the handle and the magazine pops out. You take one bit out, fit it on the socket and close the magazine. Once it's in the quick fix holder, it stays there in place and I've never had one of the bits fall out yet. The handle is slightly larger than a normal screwdriver, but it's usable even with my small hands. You can tell by the design that it's made as slim as possible without compromising on strength. The cap on top of the magazine holder also swivels which allows you to rest your palm on the end and twist your fingers for greater efficiency. The weight of the driver is surprisingly light and not that much heavier than a normal screwdriver. The insulation is rated to 1000 volts and is certified to the IEC 60900 standard. So overall I think it's a really decent product. I was skeptical at first because I always thought multi-tools are more of a gimmick but the size and the quality of the screwdriver has definitely changed my mind. I hope you've enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe and if you want to buy the screwdriver I've left a link down below.